and then Yahya. Um, Assalamu alaikum, thank you. So in what way, if any, does the platonic conception of the tripartite soul differ from the Islamic one? I think the, the, um, the tripartite nature of the soul is really self-evident. So I don't, I don't think, I mean, obviously Plato, he uses the analogy of the charioteer and, and the two horses, one be, being better than the other, the irascible horse better than the concupiscent. Um, but the point is, is that the charioteer, reason should be in charge of these two. Um, I, I think these are things that the Muslims saw were self-evident. Qadi Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi actually says that you know, the, the virtues, the ummahat, uh, the four virtues, they're really agreed upon. So the four virtues, as you all know, because you're students at Zaytuna, the four virtues are courage, shaja'a, and then ifa, temperance, right? And then hikmah, which here is prudence. Because the, 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 the Muslims, the Arabs do not differentiate between what they call hikmah nadariya and hikmah amaliya. So in, in, in Greek, they had a difference between the phronesis uh, and, and the sophia. So they differed. And, and also in, in, um, in, uh, in our tradition is wisdom and prudence. So prudence is practical wisdom, and that's the, a, 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 a cardinal moral virtue, which is different from an intellectual or a, or a uh, spiritual theological virtue. So, so the four virtues, and then, and so the virtue of the irascible soul is courage. The virtue of the, um, the uh, concupiscent soul is temperance, ifa. The virtue of the rational soul is hikmah. And then when those three are working, when you're ordered properly, as Allah's created you upright, so your head is on the top and then he puts your chest and then he put your stomach and your genitals that's the order like that's alignment if you're mustaqim then you're aligned properly your head is governing uh, your hearts and your and and your your lower uh, once once it, you flip it over then that's maqloob so that's the inqilab when the genitals and the stomach uh, dictates uh, reason, then the person is lost and they're just following their appetites. Or when you get angry, your irascible soul takes over and the reason, that's why equanimity was so important. Tuma'anina, the idea of sakina, of having sakina, like not getting angry, which takes, that takes effort. It's musara'a. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said that the real strong man wasn't shadid al sura'a. It was the one that yaghribu nafsu and al ghadab, that you overcome yourself when you're angry. That's the real strong man. It's not the one that can beat another man. It's the one that can actually control himself when he or she gets angry. So those, the, those are the, the cardinal virtues. And those are related to the tripart soul. So the adala is the balance. That's why justice and balance are related. So, يَعْتَدِلَ mizaj. So your, your temperament is ordered properly, right? So, because we all have a mizaj. And so when your temperament's ordered properly, you're in harmony. So, so I think they're, they're not, they're, they're, I think the Muslims would have come up with it, whether or not Plato, they got it from Plato or not, it doesn't. It's, it's clear in the Qur'an. These, the shahawat are clear. The, the, the quwwar ghadabiyya is very clear. I mean, it's, these, these are self-evident, I think. I mean, not self-evident so much, but can be quickly understood discursively. It's, it, to say it's self-evident would, would not be really fair, but, but they're, they're, they're demonstrative that you can clearly prove that, that we are tripartite. Creatures.